I spent years getting this piece of paper and making this little book right here. Let me tell you about industrial organizational psychology. Industrial organizational psychology, or IO psychology, is a field within the broader area of psychology. Psychology is the study of mental and behavioral processes, and industrial organizational psychology is the study of mental and behavioral processes at work. So psychology itself can be multifaceted. There are so many different areas of psychology that one can go into. There's sports psychology, health psychology, school psychology, marriage and family therapy, cognitive psychology, behavioral psychology, all the other psychologies. I'm feeling a little like Bubba from Forrest Gump listing out all the types of shrimp. Let's just say there are a lot of types of psychology. And fun fact, I actually started out in animal psychology. I worked with monkeys for a few years and thought, well, if I can understand monkeys' behaviors and how to change them, I bet I'd do really well in corporate America. So in industrial organizational psychology, you take the principles of psychology and apply them in a workplace in a way that you can see outcomes and effects and move them forward. Some of the most common applications of industrial organizational psychology are in the areas of selection and testing, in performance, and especially the measurement of individual differences. They're also in things like organizational design and organizational development. And they really have a lot of factors around how you think about the functioning of people at work, such as things like human factors, that's how do you make people more productive or work better, things like work-life balance, and other areas around the employee and the workplace. While IO psychology is very similar to the concept of talent management, it has a unique strength in that it's based on science. It's based on outcomes, and it's about applying scientific principles and rigor into the talent management process. And so usually when you are taking an approach that's more of an IO psychology-based approach, you'll find that the results are a little more objective and typically aligned to business outcomes or empirical results in the end. So a lot of times in the IO psychologists are bringing in a bit more science into their study of people at work. I think industrial organizational psychology is really interesting in that it has been a growing field for about the last decade. In fact, the Bureau of Labor Statistics back in 2014 had industrial organizational psychologists listed as the number one highest increasing job at the time. So of all the jobs they look at across all of the United States, industrial organizational psychologists was growing at the fastest rate. I think currently today it's still at about an 8% growth rate. So it's still a very healthy and growing occupation. And I think that's because of the value that the principles of industrial organizational psychology can bring into organizations and lead to success. So if you happen to be studying it or wondering about it, you can know that it is a very powerful area. And when industrial organizational psychologists are you know, employed with an organization, they're typically doing things like assessing performance, implementing surveys and engagement studies, designing organizational structures or performance processes, and really thinking about some of the scientific ways that we can think about improving employees at work or improving organizations. You'll also see industrial organizational psychologists employed in activities like labor relations, working with unions or works councils to ensure fair employment practices and liaising between the two. You can see them in areas such as ergonomics or in well-being and other areas. And it's where a lot of our really interesting studies about why people work the way they do, how they perform better, and how they interact in the workplace come out of. So if you hadn't heard of industrial organizational psychology before, or you'd heard of it but you just weren't sure what it was, I hope that gives you a little bit more about what industrial organizational psychologists do and what the term means. If you yourself studied psychology, I'd love to hear what field you were most intrigued by, whether or not you studied industrial organizational psychology, and I look forward to talking to you again next week. Cheers.